experience. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Playa del Carmen. Yes, we have been here for a week and we've learned and encountered many tips and scams that we're going to share with you. Yeah, and you know what? We're also going to share with you what a typical day is like here in Playa del Carmen. What and to this do. morning, sorry, but this <laughs> morning we saw a beautiful sunrise over Cosimo and I'm pretty sure it's something you don't want to miss when you're here. Absolutely not. It's definitely one of the ways you want to start your day here. Yeah, so that's how we started our day. And now we're on our way to have breakfast with a friend at a restaurant called Dolce Salato. Before meeting up with our friend for breakfast, we want to show you how quiet Fifth Avenue is. Yeah, this <laughs> it's is- It's like 7.30 and super quiet. Yeah, this is the only time of day where you can come out and have Fifth Avenue pretty much for yourself. Because in another hour or so when the business is open and the vendors are out, it gets bonkers around here. It's so, starting to get a bit loud now. <laughs> yeah, so I would suggest after taking in the sunrise, actually go have breakfast, enjoy the strip, enjoy yeah. it to yourself, and then come out and walk it when it's crazy. Yeah, it's like sensory overload. I can't so. wait for that, so yeah. see. <laughs> All right, breakfast time. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go for a walk on the most popular attraction here in Playa del Carmen and that is La Quinta Avenida, Fifth Avenue. Yeah, Fifth Avenue is a five mile stretch that runs from north to south and is dedicated solely to pedestrians. So you don't have to worry about any traffic coming through. It's lined with restaurants and bars. This is where the activities are. It's just shop until you drop, stop by a bar, get some drinks. I did hear from a friend that they do offer two for one drinks, but they're pretty much watered down, so you can have the two drinks and not even feel a bar. So just FYI. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are the scams they got going on so they can get you into the bar? And another thing, guys, the strip is lined with ATMs. Word of advice: don't use those ATMs. Go to an ATM that is actually connected to a bank or like a like Walmart. A, a Walmart or something because Supermarket. yeah because standalone ATMs are subject to tampering where they will insert skimmers or they will put tape where they can take your money from. So exactly. just be careful with that. Just be on the lookout for that. And at this point, we're just going to continue walking on Fifth Avenue and enjoy. Yeah, hopefully we we'll do some Morning, shopping because there's so many stores here. You hear them? Hear them? Tequila. That's tequila. the tequila guy. <laughs> Mind you, it's like nine in the morning <laughs> tequila tequila do you want a shot of tequila let us know in the link below <laughs> It's been about 15 minutes since we've been walking and I have to say the amount of retailers here you have from Forever 21, Pandora, Michael Kors. Ladies, if you love to shop, this is a place to shop until you drop. <laughs> there are also a lot of restaurants. One tip is if you decide to dine here, pull the 
experience, but if you're staying here for several days, you definitely want to check out other restaurants and different avenues. The food is half off, pretty much, and it tastes just as good. After a short walk, we made it to Parque Fundadoras, and I have to say it's pretty cool here. You get to see performances, also a view of Cosimo and the two mermaids, the sculpture of the two mermaids, which I think they're really beautiful. So if you make it as far as the park, just know that this is the end of the strip, and around the corner there's the Addo's bus terminal, which reminded me to tell you that if when you do come here to Mexico, try to have your host book your ride from the airport to the stay. The other option is go to the Addo's bus terminal at the airport, purchase a ticket. Now the reason for doing this is that <clears throat> if you take a taxi, you're definitely going to be ripped off big time. If you take the bus, the, the prices are fixed and you know exactly what you're paying for. The only downfall to taking the bus is that you don't get that door-to-door -door service. So <laughs> once you arrive here, you either have to walk if your Airbnb is close by, if not, you have to take a taxi. Right. So, but then you ripped off even less, so. <laughs> you pick. <laughs> you get the tourist prize. Yeah. I mean, again, do your homework, do your research, know what some, you know, things cost, whether it's taxis or buses, and yeah. make the best decision that you can. As long as, if you're knowledgeable, you're less likely to be scammed, I think. Exactly. We opted to have our host arrange our ride. So the guy was there holding up our names. Yeah. And from there we went, it was, it was a, Easy, 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 easy ride. Yeah, flawless. Door to door service. We did pay extra for that service, which we thought it was worth it. And um, we had the taxi all to ourselves. Pretty much. <laughs> also, just to let you know, if you have plans on going to Cozumel, this is where you want to come to catch a ferry. It's right behind us. The ticket booth is here. Yeah, you have the option either to buy tickets here or online. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how much it costs right now, but. I think it's about. US dollars wow. one way or might be round trip but I'll definitely leave that information in the description below and you can check it out for yourself but um you can do a day tour to Cozumel or stay a few days and come back so it's really up to you and what you prefer yeah we're gonna be spending a couple nights there so that's for another video but um right now we're gonna enjoy the park and show you some of the performances this so much. <laughs> So it's afternoon and as you can see, it's a lot more livelier now than it was this morning. And guess what guys, we are starving! Yes, <laughs> it is lunch time. We highly recommend grabbing some lunch on one of the many restaurants on the beach so you can enjoy a view of Cozumel, the ocean and just feel the sand on your toes. Yeah, exactly. And don't be surprised, they have these little cuties running around selling you trinkets. So do me a favor. Please patronize them, buy something, they're adorable. Oh my gosh, one day we were having lunch and this adorable little girl approached us. She was so cute, I wanted to give her all of my money. <laughs> Which I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> so much time. Lunch was delicious, unfortunately it was way too loud in there for us to talk, but I just want to give you a tip in regards to dining out here on Fifth Ave or any of the restaurants in the area. Make sure that when you get there, you take a picture of the menu, 
and when the bill comes also you know compare the bill because I've heard that they either increase the item you've ordered the price of the item you ordered or they actually add additional items sometimes they even give themselves a tip <laughs> just a few things to be mindful for so that when you're dining here you can enjoy your experience All right, guys, it's 7.30, and this place is already wall-to-wall -wall people. <laughs> the strip is lit up. It's beautiful. Nothing is even closed down. Vendors are still out. All the shops are still open. Bars Music are... coming from everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> we couldn't even film our dinner because it was just so loud. It was a live band in the restaurant. Yeah, and it's Thanksgiving, and it just happens to be that there is a jazz festival this time of year here. So we're going to actually go around and try to show you more of this trip at night and the jazz festival. <laughs> So it's afternoon as it can. What the fuck? Hey. Uh. Did you know that we actually live on a top? <laughs> I wasn't at the end of it. Okay. Hey you, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Did you know that we live in a tiny house on wheels? Click here to see our bus tour video and in this link, see the before and after, meet the builder and see what it's actually like living in our beautiful tiny home. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Please like and share this video with at least one of your friends and we'll see you next week.